Congresswoman Ashley Hinson, uh, friend of the show, as Rachel just said. Uh, Congresswoman, nice to see you again. Uh, this poll, uh, this poll is shocking. Um, according to the Des Moines Register, uh, Joe Biden's approval rating in your state now at 31 percent. His disapproval rating, which we're showing, is at 62 percent. We are 15 months away from very, very important midterm elections. Uh, what does this tell you? Well, it tells me that exactly what I've been hearing on the ground, that uh, Biden's uh, crises are creating this crisis in his poll numbers in Iowa. 62 percent uh, disapproval rating. It's because Iowans are tired of overtaxing, overspending, overregulation and, and broken promises, right? I mean, we are the first in the nation state. President Biden came to Iowa, made all of these promises and uh, clearly is, is failing at everything he touches. So uh, that's what Iowans are saying when they, they answer those poll questions. And I can tell you that's it's echoed with what I'm hearing out on the road at my town halls. You know, I worked at a news station in the, in the Midwest down in Kansas City. Um, I'm very familiar with Iowa. There's something very special about that state, I have to say. Um, so Iowa's got six electoral votes. Donald Trump won Iowa in 2016 by nine points. He won it again in 2020. Uh, Senator Joni Ernst has been on the show. She won in 2020 by, I believe, uh, right around seven points. Is Iowa, is Iowa a red state now? Well, I think Iowa is a red state because we value freedom and we value opportunity. And what we're seeing again from President Biden and Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats in Congress is that they prefer the heavy hand of government. And Iowans are common sense people, and that's what they want out of what happens in Washington, D.C. I think that's why I'm here. I'm to bring that common sense mom with the minivan voice to Washington, D.C. And so I think um, what you see in the poll numbers is reflective of that. But ultimately, we've been sounding the alarm on some of these bad, bad policies coming out. And Iowans, again, they just want to live their lives and get the government out of the way. So um, and you, you see that at the polls with uh, how, how how much they vet candidates and and obviously with our representation now in Congress. Yeah, I was also a major bellwether state. Um, I think the Democrats are probably terrified for both 2022 and 2024. Um, your border states to the north, at least Illinois, uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota, all uh, overwhelmingly blue states. And I know the Democrats are, are spending a lot of money in your state to try and uh, turn some of those switches districts, but in 2020, you turned two districts in the state from blue to red. Do you think that continues in 2022? Yeah. Well, I think clearly with the story we're telling back home in the district, it's that we respect taxpayers in Iowa. I'm fighting for safety and security for Iowa families, um, trying to make sure we respect taxpayers. And also, when you look at ultimately safety and security, the situation at the border, uh, fighting for rural America, I mean, all of those things resonate with Iowans. And it's exactly why we've seen across this country um, a pushback against the bio administration policies. And yeah. so I anticipate that um, that will continue because that's the wrong direction for this country. And I think if you look at those poll numbers, um, it's indicative of that. Just a stunning poll um, right there. We are just over a week away from the government possibly shutting down. The House is facing a September 27th vote on that trillion dollar infrastructure package. Um, what do you expect to happen here? How does this play out to avoid a possible shutdown? Yeah. Well, last night, the Democrats passed on a party line vote, uh, a continuing resolution and debt limit increase bill. And unfortunately, uh, they removed provisions like funding the Iron Dome from that bill, standing with our ally in Israel. Um, not to mention, our credit cards are maxed out in this country, Rob. They're uh, maxed out. Our bill is due. And the Democrats are trying to spend every single cent that's left in the couch cushions. They're pushing forward with a three and a half trillion dollar spending package. Um, and then they want to extend that debt ceiling and punch push off dealing with our overdraw in until next December. It's completely irresponsible. So I'm hopeful they come back to the table and um, and just focus on what means good government, keeping our government operating, but not overspending. That's well, what I, Iowa taxpayers expect. Congresswoman, I know we mentioned this the last time that you were on. Uh, inflation now at 5.3%. Uh, it was about 1.4% in January when Donald Trump was still in the Oval Office. Uh, milk prices, the milk prices are up. Uh, year over year, 8.2%. So it's gone down. Uh, it was 8.3% when you were on the last time, but still way up, out of control. Yeah, and I think you had said the line, might as well get a cow. I think that's absolutely correct because ultimately, <laughs> um, Iowans are tired of going to the grocery store and paying more. They're tired of going to the gas pump and paying more. We had energy independence. We had low gas prices. Yeah. Life was more affordable, um, and its life is now um, more complicated, more expensive under the Biden administration. Well, I stand with Iowans. Uh, Newsmax hosts feel the same way. I've got two young kids, and it'd be it'd be cheaper to have a cow in the basement versus buying gallons of milk every single day. Uh, Congressman, absolutely. thank you. So good to see you again. We appreciate it. Good to see you, Congresswoman Ashley you Henson. Too. Thank you.